What's up everyone, Mr. YouTube Gamer, giving you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 commentary. And in this gameplay, I got the XR2, which is one of my favorite assault rifles in the game. You guys know I love three burst rifles, and the XR2 really puts in work, especially with all the attachments I got. I got four attachments on this thing. I got the ELO sight with grip, rapid fire, and high caliber. I really love the pick 10 system in Black Ops 3. It's so amazing because there's so many possibilities of what you can do with your class. If you don't want the grenades, that's fine. Get rid of the grenades and then use your points to do other shit. So that's what I did. I got rid of my grenades. I got rid of my secondary and used those points to build up my XR2. And it's just so amazing. I love the create a class system in Black Ops 3. I love the maps in this game too. Like, I don't remember a single map in this game that was just so awful that I didn't want to play on it. I can think of plenty of examples with Modern Warfare, Black Ops 4, and World War 2. But in BO3, I can't remember a single map in the game that made me want to vomit whenever it came up in rotation. Like, I can't think of a single map that was that bad. You had plenty of average maps that were okay, and I would certainly rather play other maps than those ones, but there weren't any maps in BO3 that were just so bad that I would back out of the lobby just to avoid it. And the map that we're playing on in this gameplay, Hunted, is probably one of my favorite in BO3. And the more I think about it, the more I realize Black Ops 3 was a really solid multiplayer experience. The zombies were great also. The campaign, not so much, but let's be real, who gives a shit about campaign in Call of Duty? You play it for five hours, and then you never play it again. But guys, we're only a few months away from the new generation consoles, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Let me know in the comments which console you guys plan on buying. Maybe some of you might even stick with the old consoles for a couple years, just because the new consoles are probably going to be really expensive, like $500, $600. And I know in this fucked up economy, a lot of people just can't put up that money. But it's crazy to think we're already up to the new generation consoles. I feel like the PS4 and Xbox One just came out. But thinking about the new consoles coming out soon, it made me look back at the current generation of Call of Duty that started with COD Ghost and I guess is going to end with Modern Warfare. I mean, I'm sure the new Call of Duty 2020 will get a release on PS4 and Xbox One, but soon enough we'll no longer get any new Call of Duty releases on the current gen consoles as they get phased out by the new generation. The game we're playing right now, Black Ops 3, was the last Call of Duty to get a release on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And it's just funny how Black Ops 3 is probably the greatest Call of Duty in the current generation because we've had Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, COD Ghost, World War II, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare. Out of all those games, I think Black Ops 3 is the greatest Call of Duty to come out on Xbox One and PS4. While on the other hand, it's probably one of the worst Call of Duty games to be out on PS3 and 360 because that PS3 360 port was awful. And that's why I'm a little bit nervous about COD 2020 because it's probably going to get released on the PS4 and PS5. And if you know your COD history, you know any Call of Duty game that gets released on multiple generations, those games have a lot of problems. Remember Call of Duty 3, it came out on the PS3, PS2, Xbox 360, original Xbox, and the Wii. I think the reason why that game sucked, part of the reason why it wasn't as good as it could have been, is because it was released on so many different platforms. And the same thing could be said about COD Ghost. That was the first game released on the PS4 and Xbox One, but it was also on the PS3, Xbox 360, Wii U. And sure, Black Ops 3 was also released on the older consoles. It was on multiple platforms. But the difference is that Treyarch actually outsourced the development of that game to a different studio to make the PS3 and 360 version. But with Infinity Ward, they actually developed all the versions themselves for Call of Duty Ghosts. And I think as a result, their resources were spread a little bit thin, which meant that the game wasn't as well polished and refined as it could have been. And the fact that COD 2020 is probably going to get released on the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, and all these different platforms, that may be causing a lot of problems in the development and may be part of the reason why we haven't even gotten a full reveal yet. Never mind a full reveal, we haven't even gotten a confirmation that the game is even being developed, even though we know it's being developed. We haven't even gotten official confirmation about what the game is actually being titled. There's rumors that it's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, but we don't know. So, we'll see what happens with COD 2020. I usually don't get let down by Treyarch very often, but Black Ops 4 was a huge disappointment. But when you look at Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, you really see that Treyarch is capable of making an amazing multiplayer experience. And I hope the new Call of Duty is more like those older games, and a lot less like Modern Warfare. Because we've had 7 games released in the current generation, and easily Black Ops 3 is the greatest of all of them. Because COD Ghost was okay, but it was really disappointing. Advanced Warfare was also kind of mediocre, and Infinite Warfare is a pretty smooth and solid experience, but it copied too much from Black Ops 3 that it really didn't do enough to stand out on its own. And if you look at World War II, that game eventually became good, but for the first five or six months of its life cycle, it had a lot of problems. And when the game was finally fixed, it was too little too late for a lot of people. 
And then we have Black Ops 4, which to me is just an uninspired trash game that took ideas from Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, and all these other games mixed into one, and it just didn't play well. The specialists were just so frustrating because you get all these deaths that you didn't deserve. If someone comes at you with a Seeger drone or a reactor core, there's no way to counteract that. You're pretty much fucked. And sure, Black Ops 3 also had specialists, but it wasn't nearly as obnoxious as it was in Black Ops 4 because in BO4, they're just way too overpowered. Because at least in Black Ops 3, you can't camp in a building with a razor wire and torque shield. So whenever I do play Black Ops 4, it's bare bones because that's the only way I can tolerate that game and not want to throw my controller against the wall. And Modern Warfare, <laughs> let's not talk about Modern Warfare. I made a whole video about why I don't play that trash game, so if you're interested to find out, then definitely check out that video. It's just easily one of the worst Call of Duty games I've ever played, and I've played every single one of them except for the Nintendo DS games, I guess those are worse, but you know what I'm saying, Modern Warfare is trash, I can't play that game, it really frustrates me. The shitty maps, heavy skill based matchmaking, it's just not good, and I refuse to play it on this channel, I don't care if that prevents me from being big and getting a million subscribers, I'm not gonna play shit games that I don't like, it's not worth it. I need to keep my sanity. But Black Ops 3, even though that game is five years old, it's still very smooth, it's still a great gameplay experience, it aged really well compared to other Call of Duty games. So I would easily rank Black Ops 3 as the greatest Call of Duty on current gen consoles. World War 2 would probably be a close second. I do prefer boots on the ground over jetpacks, but I kind of like the movement system of Black Ops 3. I think it's much better than Advanced Warfare, which is just all over the place. And Infinite Warfare is also really smooth, but I would just rank Black Ops 3 above just because it came out first. And I really don't like it when Call of Duty games borrow too much from previous installments. And that was the biggest problem with Infinite Warfare was just recycled BO3. But leave a comment about what your favorite Call of Duty game is on the current generation consoles. From Call of Duty Ghost to Modern Warfare, out of all of them, which one is your favorite? I'm gonna have to say it's Black Ops 3, but I want to know what you guys think. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.